Greetings and welcome future Power Linux users. Today, we're going to be discussing how to fix a little problem on Manjaro. This is version 21.25 as of 2022. Now, by default, Manjaro in the ad programs shows an OBS version, which we'll be looking at right now. If you type in OBS on your search, you'll see that it installs by default 20, whoops, uh, one second, uh, light, light's on. Uh, it installs by default 272111. So we're going to click apply and put your password down and install it just so that you can see what it is that I see when we install this one by default. Now this may take a little while depending on your internet speed but we're going to wait a little bit here, see if it doesn't take too long to install. And then once it does, we select, I'm going to select by default to the hardware encoding and the loopback support. And we click choose and then wait for the installation to continue once more. Once it's done, we're going to close this up, go to our applications, and I'm going to click on OBS Studio so that you can see the little problem I've been having. Let's just uh, next these optimize for mm -hmm, 60. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it won't matter because I'm not selecting this. Sorry. We're going to click the little plus button here on sources, and you'll see that we cannot see the browser option in this menu. Now, though it doesn't show, um, You'll say, well, maybe it doesn't show because you don't have Chrome installed, which I don't. This is a new installation, but let me show you what happens if we do install Chromium. Um, Chromium here. <clears throat> By default, we're going to download it. Click Apply. We put in our password one more time. There we go. And once it's installed, we're going to open up Chromium for the first time as well because I have not opened it before. Uh, it asks for the password one more time. Here we go. And test. Whoops. Let me just, uh, I'm going to maximize. Whoops, I closed it. One second. I'm so sorry. Let's open up Chrome again. And uh, test my internet speed just so that we can see um, the browser load up. Here we go. And I'm going to minimize this and show you. Actually, I'm just leave it there and go to OBS <clears throat> and show you the, the option still is not there. Okay, this is due to the version of OBS that's running by default on this Manjaro. Now, you can uh, use Chromium and use the uh, window capture mode to select it and you'll be able to select any window that's open on your desktop. In this case, I'm going to go to uh, Chromium here. You'll see you can record that. But for Streamlabs chat and Streamlabs plugins in general, this option that does work fine. If you want to just record your browser, this will work. But for Streamlabs, this will not fly. Okay, you do need the browser option here or else Streamlabs won't work. So here we go. We are going to open up the terminal. We're going to go sudo pacman and we're going to install flatpak without the C. Sorry, it's just flatpak with a K and you put down your password. You click yes. Don't worry about the commands. I'll have them in the description below. We're going to hit yes one time and it should install flatpak. Now I'm going to restart my computer uh, very quickly here. Uh, I'm going to do a sudo, uh, sudo restart sorry reboot and this won't take very long so I'll just leave it on I'll leave it in the video <clears throat> we're gonna restart the computer because I want Flatpak to um, to finish installing completely I'm gonna reboot and uh, here we go shouldn't take very long and okay we had a splash screen because this is a new installation of Manjaro and we're going to make sure that Flatpak was installed. So to do so, I'm going to open up a terminal one more time. And I'm just going to write down Flatpak to see if everything is on the up and up. If it's green, that means it was installed correctly. So now Flatpak space install space Flathub space com 
dot OBS project dot capital S studio. Okay. We're going to hit yes one more time. Hit yes again. And depending on your internet speed, this might take a little bit for you. It's a little over 200 megs. And um, we're just going to fast forward this a little bit <clears throat> so that you can see this complete. Here we go. And once everything is downloaded, we will see a new version of OBS. Now, something that I did not show on the video is I did uninstall OBS. This has to be a new installation. So once you do reinstall with a flat pack, the OBS version that you have is 27. Two, three, as you can see up here. Let's cancel this out. And if we press sources, there we go. Now you have your browse that works with Streamlabs.